I always said there's no way I'll ever move to California, no way I'll ever move to Los Angeles. Got a job offer, do you want to work on the Mars rovers? Okay, fine, I'll move to California, I'll move to Los Angeles. I was an undergraduate, and I was actually working at Marshall Space Flight Center when Pathfinder landed. Um, working that summer as an intern, I actually was aware of the Pathfinder landing, and I was like so surprised. I had no idea that anybody did anything like that. You know, well, these people sent a probe to Mars, and it had a rover, and they drove it around. This is the coolest thing I have ever seen, you know? And I was like, how much fun must their job be? And at that time, I would never have ever dreamed that I could actually be one of the part of the team working on the very next rover that we landed on Mars. And we're going to set the suspension parameters tighter. So we're going to leave the differential at 12 degrees and set the bogey at plus or minus 12. Um, we don't believe that this will trip them. In reality, it's the rovers that made me come here in the first place, even before I started college. Um, a lot of people that I've worked with in the past have told me that uh, they got interested in the space program because they saw man land on the moon in 69. And I wasn't around back then, but um, I was in school when the rovers were launched and when they landed. So yeah, the rovers are really important to me in that respect because they are the reason I'm here. And then we do our pre-drive front left Haskam. And then we start our drive. When they were landing, I had actually about three semesters left in my undergraduate uh, career. Didn't think I'd ever be working on them because, well, they were supposed to die before I uh, finished up my junior year. And then they just kept going and going and going. <laughs> you know, being a new student out of college, um, coming to work on this mission, I, I was very optimistic. You know, I always believed that it was going to work. Against all odds, we were gonna make it work, you know. And of course, it, at times it hits me, makes me very emotional. You can see me in some of the, the landing footage. I think I'm hyperventilating on screen when we first saw the images come down from Mars. It was so monumental to see the vastness of what we were doing. This has been one heck of an adventure and I just, it's like a really good dream. You just, I never thought I'd be doing it, but I wouldn't trade it for anything.